totally reinvented himself. There, there's still doubters out there that, that don't want to buy in. But I'm impressed. I'm not. Why? I'm not. Because I, I think it's a bit of a sales job here. Are you telling me that he's been in the league for 12 years and now he has this euphoric moment where I'm just happy to be in the league and I'm, you know? Well, it's a reality check. He's no, not the not. top dog anymore. It's not the reality check. You know what the reality check is? There's a general manager out there that has to convince an owner that he's going to trade for a 10-year contract. 10-year contract. You think you want to get the guy in 2011 that said, oh, he's not pumping up my tires? Or do you want a guy that challenges Biz Nasty for the, the most followers so on Twitter? So he's doing all of this all just of to this get traded. All of this is to show everybody that he's a good guy, he's a fun guy, he's got a great attitude, great and help me get traded out of Vancouver. But, but more, you do know what, what you got to do. And more importantly than that, they've each played eight games, okay? They've got 32 games left, this team. They've lost three in a row, albeit they're in overtime. They've got to decide pretty soon here who's going to be their go-to goaltender. Are they going to keep going back and forth for the, for the next 30 games and all of a sudden go into the playoffs without the guy being their number one? Mm -hmm. I don't know that Schneider's the guy yet. I don't know if they're convinced he is. Luongo's probably been the better guy. You know but they've got to pick a number one and, guy and, and start to run with him. I'm and they better too, do I'm it soon. I'm just sitting here sit, calling him a big phony here because I, I do believe he's a good goalie and his, his, his play has merited the fact that there should be teams interested. I just think a contract like that is very difficult to move.